All right, so I've taken one whole side and put it together. It's the easiest way to put the servos in and everything. And mounted everything to one side of the frame and got the bottom frame on, the top frame on. Sorry. Top, uh, main shaft, bracket, lower, tail drive gear, receiver in place, motor in place, battery tray in place. And then the next thing is to like take the second piece, plop it down over the top, and nail those pieces down. But that's enough for tonight. I think it's pretty cool so far. Kind of interesting when you look at it like that. And of course you lock tight everything as you're putting it in. Okay, so here's the main chassis. Finally put together. Bottom part and top part. Um, not much to see. I uh, run the wires inside this time. From the inside servos in here underneath the upper main bearing block back over the side uh, ailer, uh, elevator servo and then down out through the bottom um, I haven't loctited any of these screws yet because I want to set up the tail but everything else is in place so tomorrow put the tail on and uh, set that up then put the servo horns on. Got those over here in the box. Set to go. I used the black servo horns to kind of match the black upper casing. Oh, here you can't see. But anyway, you get the idea. Hey again. Um, remember in one of my last videos I was talking to you about the um, a line bottom plate being too short. Well, I replaced the old Copter X one because it was um, pretty well smashed up. So I took it and cut the front of it off and screwed it right on there. Voila! Extended battery or ESC plate. Um, looks pretty nice. So I solved that problem. Okay, so I've got the ESC mounted on the front here. It came out pretty nice. Um, wired it up to the motors. This is one of the older Align motors. It's an outrunner, but the case doesn't spin on it. So um, they're pretty far away from the motor, so they won't get too much heat. And here's the way the wiring turned out in the back. So I've got the two servos going down there. And it comes out pretty neat underneath. The ESC comes here, wraps there, goes in there. So it's a pretty neat wiring job all in all. 